The Constancy ZK EVM has just launched on its public testnet, and this could possibly compete with the likes of ZK Sync ERA or StarkNet. There's currently no token being issued by the Consensus team. So this gives us the opportunity to try out this testnet and potentially qualify for this airdrop in the future. I'll be showing you some of the steps you can do and the best part is that you do not need to pay any fees at all. Consensus ZKVM has been rebranded to Linear and right now it's still currently in its testnet. So you'll be using testnet tokens on this network instead of any real assets that you own. Linear is a layer 2 that's being built on top of Ethereum. So we will need to get some Goali Ethereum and then we can bridge our funds over from the Goali testnet to the Linear layer 2. If you're looking to get some Goali Ethereum, my video in the description will show you the best way of getting it. Right now I'm on the Goali version of the Hotmap Exchange and this allows me to bridge my funds from the Goali testnet to the Linear L2. So you need to connect your Metamask wallet and you can enter the amount of ETH that you wish to send over. This will be the amount of Ethereum that you're expected to receive on Linear after all of the fees have been accounted for. The gas fee for this transaction is rather expensive at about 0.01 Goali Ethereum. If you have a limited supply of Goali Ethereum, you may not want to bridge over all of your funds to this network, especially if you're trying to qualify for other testnet airdrops as well. Before you can view our funds on the linear testnet, you need to first add this network to our MetaMask wallet. This can be done by going to this drop-down menu, selecting Add Network, and then add a network manually. All of the information can be found over here, and I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. I've added the linear testnet to my MetaMask wallet, and I can view that I have about 0.02 Ethereum on this network. The main aim is to be an active tester of the linear testnet, so it'll be best for you to perform as many transactions as possible across various decentralized applications that are currently being tested on the linear network. You can go to the linear testnet portal, scroll down to click on this option of exploring the ecosystem and this will be the various applications that you can try out on this network. The very first application we can try is the fork version of Uniswap. Right now the two tokens that we can swap our funds to is either CR Wrap Ethereum or CR USDC which are most likely the bridge versions of Wrap Ethereum and USDC that are found on the linear network. Right now it seems that the CR USDC is a bit wonky so swapping around 0.01 Ethereum will give me this extremely huge number. I guess the only token that we can swap to will be the Wrap Ethereum and we'll be wrapping it from our Ethereum token tokens in a 1 is to 1 ratio. A small amount of gas fees will be paid for this transaction, so this is something you may want to take note so that you don't swap off your Ethereum into wrap Ethereum. The transaction was successful and now I have some wrapped Ethereum which I can then unwrap it into actual Ethereum. This version of Uniswap also has the pool feature but right now we are unable to add any tokens and provide liquidity. This is something you may want to keep an eye out and maybe you can check it weekly to see if there are any other tokens that appear on this drop down menu and then you can add both of these tokens into a liquidity pool. Apart from Uniswap, there are so many other applications that you can try out on the linear testnet as well. We can also try out the MES protocol and this is another trading platform that is slightly different from Uniswap. I'll be depositing about 0.005 Ethereum into this platform. So now we have deposited some Ethereum and we can trade our Ethereum to the USDC token. So if you have used a centralized exchange before, this interface will be something similar and you can either buy or sell some USDC. The trading size needs to be above 12 USDC so I currently do not have enough Ethereum and I can deposit even more into this platform. There's currently not enough liquidity to place my order so I realized that there's actually a USDC faucet where I can get some funds. I can select on the consensus ZKVM and click on request USDC and this may take up to 5 minutes before the funds are sent over to my wallet. While waiting for the USDC funds to arrive in my wallet, another one we can try out is the Ghost NFT platform. These are some of the NFTs that are available on the linear network. So the main thing I think we can do is to disperse some collateral for each NFT. To be honest, I'm not really sure what that really means and do let me know in the comments if you're familiar with this stuff. Right now, I'm just going to disperse some collateral for this NFT and confirm this transaction on Metamask. You can do this for other NFTs as well and you can just play around with it where the main point is to perform as many transactions as possible. It seems that the USDC faucet is not working. So again, you may want to keep an eye out on this application and perhaps you can make some trades once there's some liquidity in the buying side. Another application that we can try out is FWDX. I'm not too sure exactly how this works and the orders that we should be looking out for are the orders under the consensus ZKVM and we will be unable to fill any orders that are on the Goli testnet. So I think we can actually mint some Bitcoin. So just for the fun of it, I'll just mint 30 Bitcoin and see how it goes. So right now I have about 20 Bitcoin and let's see what we can do with it. I'll just create this as a market order and I think I need to set a time for it to be filled as well. This first transaction is actually known as a token approval and you can choose to either set a custom spending cap or you can use the default option which actually gives you a very large number and this is somewhat like a infinite token approval. If you're not sure what token approvals really are, I also have a video in the description where I explain this concept further in detail. This approval transaction is just the first step and now I'll need to perform another transaction 
to create my market order. So again, this costs some gas fees and I'll need to approve it. To view some of the transactions that you have completed on the linear testnet, you can go to this block explorer and paste your wallet address. So these will be some of the transactions that I've done. And from time to time, you may just want to play around with this platform and just continue performing lots of transactions. And hopefully all of this will help you to qualify for the airdrop. So once you have done playing with all of these applications, Consensus also has a feedback form where you can fill up sharing your experiences. You can leave your email here and this may help you to increase your chances for qualifying for the airdrop. And you can also join Consensus Discord channel and you can keep an eye for any announcements they make regarding the airdrop. Linear is just one of the many ZK VMs that have been released and my video here shows you how you can qualify for an airdrop or another of this type of network.